This is Patrick Smetana, very well-known Czech music composer who actually did some of his most well-known music after he lost his hearing. And as a guy who's trying to do music myself, uh, this was big inspiration because it shows that being deaf isn't the end game for those who love sound. Uh, and this is the reason why we are in the London right now. Today will be a very special one. Uh, right now I'm going to London. I just picked everything up and I will be going meet a few friends uh, who are helping us with one project. Uh, these guys are from Subpack and they did for us this thing. Uh, this is custom Subpack. It's like subwoofer, what you will just like put on your back uh, and you feel the vibrations from the bass. It's pretty much the same feel like when you are on a huge party and you feel the sub bass in your body. So my biggest fear as a musician is that I will lose hearing. And now with Beat Saber, uh, there is one thing that I find out that we actually can do uh, regarding that. And this is that we can help people who can't hear uh, to try play Beat Saber, which is of course rhythm game. So the music is the most important thing and try what's happened if those guys with this thing can play Beat Saber in the same level as guys who are the pros. The main vision behind this is that in the future and especially in the eSport with the platforms like virtual reality we can simply erase all the boundaries. That's the reason why I'm going to London because we will be doing research uh, in the university uh, with people who can't hear to find out if they feel comfortable with the experience of the Beat Saber and the Subpack and actually how they feel about getting so close to experiencing the sound what they never experienced before. How do you feel VR with that hat? Oh wow, amazing. Feel like he's in a different world. Fantasy world. Ask him, does he think he will get better the more he plays? Do you think he will become better the more he plays? Yes, definitely. The more I play, the more, the more he gets better. The more he the game. So this is the second time that Troy's tried Beat Saber. What did you think of Beat Saber? Wow! Absolutely amazing! As a deaf person, using the sub pack and the VR, I just felt in a virtual reality world that I've never experienced before. Do you think that if you keep playing, you will get better? If I would have played it more, I definitely would feel get better. Because yeah. you want to get the points and you want to get the goals. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's very cool. What, what do you think um, the deaf community will make of it if they get a chance? To oh, I definitely believe it will make a big difference, especially yeah. with the sub pack. Yeah. One more question. Do you want to keep playing? Yes, I want to keep playing. Give me again, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Matthew's first ever try. But it is down, Downwards. Yes, good, good. Perfect. Right, what did you think of Beat Saber? The, the game is wicked, 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 wicked. It's out of this world spirit. It so, came into a different uh, dimension of uh, the game. Is. Do you think it's something that you would like to play regularly? Yes, it is something... I'm not a gamer, so right. playing the VR Beat Saber yeah. is really, really new to me. And wow, I will definitely continue to play that game. So this was the first preview of from those tests. Uh, those guys were trying the Beat Saber for the very first time. So I'm I'm happy that it worked out so well and I'm so grateful to uh, Subpack uh, for making this happen. Also thank you for Oculus because they uh, donated uh, one Rift uh, for those tests also with computer. So thank you Subpack and uh, Oculus. And also I would like to thank everybody involved and those guys who make those tests. 
Right now, the most important thing would be to find out if uh, those guys uh, will be playing the game and would like to try to get better in the game from their own will. This is the most important thing. And me personally, I will be interested if the retention will be same because uh, our retention is almost 50% of people who bought the game are playing it even after three months, which is kind of crazy. So if this will happen, I'm really not worried that we can bring uh, people from hearing a disabled community into the official leaderboards and possibly involve them in the tournaments in the future. That will be super cool. So this is everything for now. If you've seen this thing behind me, uh, uh, I'm right now in Las Vegas uh, because there is a DICE event uh, and we actually been nominated for DICE awards. So probably uh, more info about this will be in the next vlog. But I'm meeting a lot of musicians in LA soon because we will be closing uh, next music packs. And you will get info about it very soon. See you.